day, but... Amber Run, thank you so much for joining me. How are you? Very well. A little Very bit sleepy. sleepy. A little bit sleepy. You're also struggling with um, the sun being in your eyes a little bit. Yeah. You didn't think to bring your sunglasses? No, it was a bit shit when I left the house, so... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're, at, we're at Barn on the Farm, and I... Do you know what? I asked my housemate this, who has played Barn on the Farm many times, I said, is it unfair to say Amber Run and Barn on the Farm royalty? And he said no. Ooh, so, that's nice. I would say so. I would say that, oh, that would be unfair. Oh, okay, okay, right. Okay, give, yeah. give yourself a title within a royal family. No, I, I, but even if it was bestowed upon me, I'd still refuse it. I don't think we're there. Oh, right. Okay. I thought you said yes. No, no. I no, thought no, you no. were hardcore yes. No, I'm a hardcore no. Right. I mean, that, wow. that would well, be quite the honour. We, we've played a few times, and I think it's the first festival we. One of the first festivals we played as a band. You guys were on the lineup before you were called Amber Run. Correct. That is fair. We and that also go. on the Reading and Leeds lineup before we were called Amber Run. So we're Reading and Leeds royalty. So as you're well, Reading and Leeds royalty. royalty. I think yeah. that would be a bit of a, be a, a real stretch. <laughs> um, I think they're both stretches. To be fair. Nah, it's, I don't it's, want to be a pessimist, but oh, oh, pessimist. I don't know. It's it's Royal, it's Royal, it's Mr. Rain Jacket it's Henry. Royal, um, consistent. Um, it's a pleasure to be back. We really like playing this festival. Yeah. Josh and the good people and the, and the guys that will run it are, are really good really good people and they've been involved with, with our band and our story before we were invited to come play Barn on the Farm and it's a pleasure to be amongst friends and regardless of royalty or any of that it's uh, it's dead nice to come and just be amongst people you know and, and come play some shows because that's what it's all about really. Anyone you're particularly excited to see? Look forward to seeing Cassia today. Um, so I'm a huge Bombay Bicycle Club fan, so that'll be really, really fun. Fartson on Sunday. Are they? Fartson, yeah. Um, yeah, but I think one of the, one of the beauties about Barn and Farm and some of these festivals as well is finding some new people that you really, really like. I'm, I'm like a bit of a dinosaur when it comes to like Spotify and all that because I just end up listening to the music I've saved and I already know and I'm quite bad at like learning about the new stuff so it's in these kind of settings where I get blown away by like new folks so I'm just excited to just post up and, and, and watch some watch some people that I don't know yet that I'll probably learn to love. Incredible. So we, we've heard some new music from Amber on recently. Um, act one, act two, what Talk to me about this. What? You're traditionally an album band, and now we're we're yeah. moving away from that. Um, not necessarily. I mean, it was it was uh, it was it was quite a fun project for us to want to engage ourselves more consistently, creatively, get in the studio more often, get writing more often, as opposed to spending a, a chunk of time writing and then you get a few weeks in the studio and you've got to nail everything for an album in one go. So that's what. I was born out of the last few years all being a bit hectic and, and wanting to push ourselves creatively. Um, but we just wanted to release music more often, essentially, rather than leaving it several years between releases. And it's been so much more enjoyable. Well, it's been very enjoyable. I wouldn't say we wouldn't do albums again. Uh, but, you know, what follows, what follows Act 1 and then Act 2? M maybe Act 3. I don't know. Maybe. Didn't that's but that's pure speculation. Could possibly sense. confirm. It would be sensible to think that. Cut that. Yeah, cut that. <laughs> so one of one of my favourites from Act One and Act Two, me, not Act Three, which doesn't exist, um, the start. Why? Oh, cool. Yeah, tell us. It's banger. Um, it's but, a banger. That's three words. It's a banger. Give me more. Okay, well I'm I'm gonna try and give you more in my question. Okay. Joseph, <laughs> if you don't mind. It's not a secret to you guys that I've been an Amber Run fan from album one. And we've heard music since then. And now we've, we've heard two albums since then and now we're here. So is this the start of something? What What's that in reference to? Well, I think in the writing process, we have... We've had some interesting moments in our career and we've had some interesting moments in our personal lives where it's kind of turned into kind of quite... It ends up being quite introspective. And I think the start for, at least for me, in the writing process, and I, I can't speak for the other guys for this, is like, it felt like 
we're in a place in our lives now where it would be really nice to soundtrack some some moments of uh, I don't know positivity of fun promise of promise yeah the possibility of what could be rather than um, the the inevitability of difficulty um, and I think that's what the start was to us um, you know is this the start the start of something it's like the promise of what's to come next and it was really exciting for us to just conceive the idea that you know not that it's all doom and gloom all the time but uh, that there's yeah the possibility of just something fun about to happen and for Amber Run to be able to engage with that part of what we do just as much as we are able to, to stay connected to the more emotive side of what we do if that makes sense I feel like I've just said a lot but it's also, it's also part of a larger narrative that we were looking at with these two acts which are standalone and that nothing will come after these obviously um, but <clears throat> the act one was all about <laughs> Act One was all about uh, feeling like you're in a rut. There's like the the like the monotony of everyday life, and regardless of what you're doing, I think quite a lot of people experience that during COVID, just being like, "What what am I doing with my life?" kind of thing. That like quarter life crisis kind of thing. And so this EP is a slightly more optimistic look at like, oh, you know, there is there is a possibility for change, and um, that sort of positivity that comes with that. And if there were hypothetically to be an Act 3 that doesn't exist, um, are there other themes that you want to explore musically that maybe haven't been explored in these two acts? <coughs> you can be as vague as you want with this response. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Not that vague. Yes and no. Yes and no. I think because it's us that's doing it, it's always going to have a continuity. And it's probably something that's like we've had kickback in our careers about before. It's like people kind of commenting that maybe we don't quite know what we like the common thread. But I think in, in in each of us there is the want to do one thing and then the want to put on another hat and be something else and then like whack on like some jeans that definitely don't fit you just because it's fun to dress up, isn't it? Come on, man. Sat right here. <laughs> well, you look great. But so yeah, so yeah, there'll be some things that we haven't touched before musically because it's that's what's fun to do. It's fun to make music where you're like pushing yourself when you're not just grinding through the gears. Um, that's not to say that we're gonna like do something that's like totally foreign and doesn't sound like Amarum. It's just the three of us, and we still have the same music that we listen to. It's still the same musicality that we're gonna bring to it. It'd be fucking boring to just. Well, I mean, I can't speak as a fan listening to our band because obviously we're too close to it. But like, I would be bored of an act that just continually releases the same song in different words. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think you can be quite sure that there will be some new things. But how far can it really go? Probably not that far. Well. I mean, firstly, thank you guys very much for taking the time to talk to me. Um, this is where I would ask you for a plug, but there's no Act 3 there's to no talk Act about. Three, no. uh, if there was anything to hypothetically plug, what have you guys got coming up and what would you like to plug? We've got some songs that are going to be coming out. No comment on the name or the guys in which they fall. Um, we can plug the songs we've already released. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. like four years ago or something, we released an album. That was cool. <laughs> <laughs> Ten years before that as well, the first one came yeah, out. Yeah. You listened to that as well. If you listened to that, that's wicked, because uh, that came out a while ago. Yeah. So those songs have been around for around uh, uh, a while. Just keep keep your eye out. Keep your eye say. out? Yeah. <clears throat> um, I can do that. Ear to the ground, eyes to the wall. What? <laughs> uh, yeah. Be on the lookout, because hypothetically more stuff eventually will come out whether that's very soon or whether that's Further also very line. soon then just be aware it might be go. very soon but you couldn't comment on that kind of thing could you no um i wouldn't want to put you in that position no 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 the label god a world exclusive maybe amber run are going to release music at some point in the future maybe. i'm gonna tweet the shit out of that <laughs> that's gonna get some traction I yeah. and maybe there'll be some more shows 
Well, thank you guys so much. I'm very much looking forward to the set tonight. So are we. Yeah. Be a pleasure. And maybe, potentially, some more music in the future. Maybe. Who knows? So. We'll see what happens. Some people know. <laughs> it was a pleasure.